Do you want to be kicked in the head? Do you want to be ass blasted by Rhea Ripley? Does Lark seem degrading you shatter your gooning streak? Then congratulations, you're a masochist too. And you'll love reaching level 100 on Destiny Islands. I'm Nick, I'm a he him, I want Lark scene to zap my nipples, and today we're going to find the fastest way to reach level 100 on Destiny Islands in Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. Let's start with what we know. Number one, we have six options for level grinding. Riku, Tidus, Waka, Skibbity Toilet, Selfie, 3v1, and The Shadows. Number two, Beginner mode gets us an EXP accessory, boosting EXP gain by 30%. We also receive 8 power ups, 8 defense ups, and 4 AP ups on this difficulty. And just in case you're curious, EXP is experience, which is what we need to level up. We can get it from defeating enemies or from tech points, which come from parrying attacks. And a secret third way, mewing. Number 3, during the question portion, Dawn Answers caps out at about 985,000 EXP to reach level 100, Midday at about 950,000 EXP, and Dead of Night at 880,000 EXP. So with that information we know two things. Beginner mode is Big Sigma Core, meaning we should pick it, because of the EXP accessory and power boosts, and we should pick the Dead of Night route, since we'll save roughly 100,000 EXP total, which will allow us to riz the gap. What's the plan? Well, first I'm going to see a doctor about my brain rot. Then I'm going to do some math to test the six combatants against various strategies while timing them, and then I'll tell you the fastest way. So, masochists, let's slam our balls in the oven and start this video. <laughs> Strategy 1, beat him up. We're going to fight each combatant as fast as possible for 2 minutes gay, 2 minutes straight if you swing that way. Unsurprisingly, this wasn't an effective strategy. I got 70 XP against Waka, 80 XP against Selfie, 17 against Tidus, 24 against the 3v1, 28 against Riku, and 63 against the Shadows. As a side note, if you want to try these tests yourself, for the non-heartless battles I started the timer after clicking X at the last message after accepting a duel, and for the heartless I started the timer as soon as I pressed skip on the Keyblade cutscene. The Shadows clearly take the win in this category, the only downside, the only dark side if you will, but um, is that our current strength, we already one-shot Shadows, which means the only way we can improve this strategy is via perfecting a route and practicing, and maybe Slapshot. So I got Slapshot, and I retested the strategies, and the results were unimpressive. Waka went up to 11 EXP per 2 minutes, Selfie was still at 8 EXP, Tidus jumped to 26 EXP, 3v1 went to 31 EXP, Riku stayed at 28 EXP, and Shadows leapt up to 71 EXP. So Shadows are still the fastest, and here's why they outpace the rest of the strategies. We can one-shot them, there's no dialogue or animation for starting or finishing a fight, and no menuing to start again. So again, Shadows takes this category, peaking at 71 EXP per 2 minutes. But hang on there big dog, we ain't done yet. Prep your oven door for Strategy 2. Tech Point Farm. This is where we try to get as much EXP as possible during the fight, regardless of winning or losing. Also in 2 minute intervals like before. I got 32 EXP against Waka, now that's an improvement. Waka's strategy is to try to knock the ball over his head, and all we have to do for this to work is pull a COVID and stand 6 feet away. Personally, I stand at the edge of the lock-on range to perform the strat. Against Selfie, I got 45 EXP, literally 9 times better, and the play here is to parry when she leaps at us, as that will get us one tech point on the parry, and an additional tech point when it hits her head. Then we take a few steps away and wait for her to do it again. Note, she cannot be defeated from this. An additional note, if we're too close or too far away when she leaps again, so trip over herself. I got 70 EXP against Tidus, and that's on par with the slap shot at Shadows. What we do is parry Tidus when he does a normal strike, then run away. After he backflips, we run towards him and repeat. Sometimes he might not backflip, which is actually good. So we'll take a few steps away and then just parry him again. Another thing, if he does a flip attack against us after we've walked away and come back, it just means we've approached him too soon after his backflip. I got 42 EXP against the 3v1, I really didn't have a strategy for this, I just did whatever was helpful in the moment, however, it'd likely be better to just knock out Selfie and Waka and do the Tidus strat, but then, you know, why bother with the 3v1. I got 8 EXP against Riku, abysmal, Riku does 3 main attacks. A spin attack we don't get tech points for, he constantly fucking does it, could you don't. Riku has an overhead swipe we can get 1 tech point for. He'll usually do this after his spin attack and a little skip, but if we miss and he does his follow-up underhand swipe, we won't get a tech point for parrying that. Last, a lunge attack we can get one tech point for, that usually, but not always, comes after he does a big jump. So the issue here is Riku isn't falling into a stun lock, so it's really difficult to get a consistent parry strat. I did get better as time went on, but we really are subject to the whim of Riku's RNG. Especially if he just starts blocking out of nowhere, just like, ooh, big leap, now I'm gonna block, okay. or taunt, or whatever, asshole. 
And lastly, the shadows. The thing is, it's basically impossible to parry them, so our only option would be to block. Yeah, it turns out you don't get tech points from shadows when on the island. Every time I see you, I hear you, I feel you. That is how I know you're a bitch. Now let's talk about tech boost. We get this at level 12 with the shield, at level 18 with the sword, and at level 27 with the staff, and it increases our tech point gain. At these low levels, it can double our EXP gain from parries. So I crunched the numbers again with tech boost on, and Waka lift up to 70 EXP per 2 minutes, Selfie jumped up to 68 EXP, Titus exploded his way to 152 EXP, 3v1 slid up to 78 EXP, Riku shot up to 24 EXP, and again, no tech points from shadows. So I think the play here is pretty obvious. We should parry Titus until we get tech boost, then parry him some more. And just for fun, fun, air quotes, I retested the parry strategies with block. And guess what? There was no difference. Except with Titus, I reached 164 EXP with block, but I believe that has less to do with block itself and more to do with Titus's RNG. On the other hand, if you do want to start blocking once you have it, then be my guest, because at best it's faster, and at worst it's the same as parrying. Now that we know what to do, it's time to- Ow! Goddamn oven door! Got my finger. So, when we start the game, we'll pick shield, sacrifice sword. The sacrifice isn't really important, but if we sacrifice the sword, we get to keep 3 AP, and we can fix that strength loss with our 8 power-ups. Once we reach the questions portion, we'll pick all bottom answers to get the dead of night route, saving 100,000 EXP. Once we reach the save point, we'll pause and use the power-ups. Then against dark side, I have two methods of fighting it. Method 1. Beat the shit out of it, TM. After its first attack, climb its arm and do head combos, netting us two tech points per combo finisher, and if it's still alive, attack its hand until it's not. This takes approximately 20 seconds and gets us 35 EXP. Method 2, Laser Tag. We'll maximize EXP by defeating the shadows as they spawn, and only doing damage by locking onto Darkseid's head and parrying the lasers, getting us three total EXP per laser parried and returned to Darkseid's head. This takes just under two minutes for about 76 EXP. I think the former option is better. We may get about half the EXP, but it will allow us to get to our strat literally 100 seconds sooner. But I will leave the method decision up to you. Last thing worth mentioning, at level 81, we'll get another tech boost, and that goes for any weapon option at the beginning. And while I haven't quite gotten that far, Larxene is still attaching the nipple clamps, that second tech boost will likely increase our EXP gain relatively substantially. And that's the fastest way to get to level 100 on Destiny Islands. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you want to try this, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Uh, comment how your grind is going, and have a great day. Goodbye!